All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Frank's Crypto Corner, where we bring you all kinds of news and information about cryptocurrency, mining the coin, staking the coin, use it at credit card for BlockFi credit cards to get rewards back in Bitcoin. That's actually a pretty cool thing. You get rewards back in Bitcoin. All cool stuff here at Frank's Crypto Corner. Today, we're going to be talking about Doge on Mars. Just basically flipped with Decentraland as the most traded coin on the th top 1,000 ETH whales. So the most traded um, altcoin, um, Doge on Mars. <laughs> Give them a big uh, hand, a round of applause there. Fantastic on that. We're going to go over that. Also going to be talking a little bit about Doge on uh, Swap Space. Co, how it got listed on that. So that's going to be a big thing. Going to talk about that a little bit. NFTs hit the mainstream on Thanksgiving Day um, and Black Friday being traded. We're going to talk a little bit about NFTs being traded and what's going on with NFTs. And you know, you've been hearing about real estate going up and the prices being really high. Well, there was a plot of virtual real estate sold for over $2 million um, on Decentraland. So we're going to go over that too. So all kinds of great stuff. And for my AMP token friends, I know we're talking about Dojalon, Mars today, but AMP token at the end, we're going to talk about it's up like 35% in the last seven days. It's like jumping off the chart over seven, seven cents and stuff. Dojalon, Mars, all kinds of good stuff. With that, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any up and coming videos. Our goal on this channel is to help every single person learn about cryptocurrency, understand cryptocurrency, one day even own some cryptocurrency. So, got a lot to go through on this episode. Stay tuned. Watch it all the way to the end. All kinds of good stuff. Today on Sunday, oh yeah, before we get started, Tom Brady's going to be pumping what he's getting into today because it's football Sunday. And you know what he's getting into? Cryptocurrency. That's right. All the football fans across the country are going to hear about cryptocurrency. So do you think cryptocurrency is going anywhere? No, it's here to stay, everybody. So with that, let's head over to Dogelon Mars. All right, over here, Dogelon Mars. Uh, it's down 24% right this second. This could be discount week, discount buy if you're looking for discounts. We know El Salvador just bought 100 bitcoins on, on Black Friday on a discount. They said on a discount. So take a look at Dogelon real quick. It's down 6% in the last 24 hours. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros, 1274. It's going down a little bit, down a little bit, down a little bit. Before we go too much into the charts and stuff and the price prediction, uh, let's go ahead and jump over to all the good news that's going on. I know that the coin's down right this second. This could be your discount, but let's look at the good news real quick. Right here, Dogelon Mars flips mana to be the most traded token among the top 1,000 ETH whales. So right here, our good old friend Dogelon Mars just flip-flopped with Decentraland as the most traded. It says right here, Dogelon Mars is the most traded tokens among the top 1,000 ETH whales. Elon token. So it says right here, Decentraland had taken the top sweet spot of the most used token in all coins. Well, Mana held the top spot for a few days, but eventually was outrun by Elon, making it fall to the second position. Nevertheless, Mana still has the stream. You know, so Mana's very, very big, but take a look at that. Dogelon just flip-flopped with Decentraland. So there's some freaking fantastic news. Over here again, Dogelon Mars becomes the most traded altcoin among the top 1,000 ETH whales. So there's the whale swimming in the ocean. There's Dogelon. Guess what? The whale's most favorite token to purchase right now, to hold, Dogelon Mars. It says whales have shown some interest in Dogelon Mars as the token spiked 250% in the last 30 trading days. You know, so you got a 250% spike in the last 30 days. It says right here, Elon was the most traded altcoin among the whales in the last few days. The top 1,000 ETH whales have all gone in on Elon. You know, investors have jumped in on the bandwagon in hopes of being the next big thing in the market. Doge on Mars has gained traction all over social media and its reach getting wider by the day. You know, it says right here, Elon's investors have started an offline advertising campaign by sticking posters across the cities. The tagline reads, Miss Sheba, join Elon on a mission to Mars. You know, so again, remember... The whole goal is intergalactic currency so to make sure when we go to Mars and we go to the moon, I know we got to go to the moon first and then to Mars, but on all this stuff, they're, join us on a mission to Mars. So if you're into space travel, if you're into intergalactic uh, currency and intergalactic things and stuff, 
Dogeland Mars is going to be the token for you because when you're in Mars, on the moon, all these places, when you go to pay for your different things, you're going to pay in with Dogelon Mars currency. It says right here, however, October 21st, Dogelon gave a run to every other altcoin on the market by spiking 4,000%. Says right here, the coin is up 9,500% since its inception, which a lot of investors are definitely liking that. You know, it says right here, Dogelon Mars is low hanging fruit and is available for purchase less than a cent. The affordability is what is attractive to new investors. We hope that they bring them fortunes when they delete zeros along the way. The altcoin is new in the market and the price could be in a better position in a few years. So, taking a look right here, Hump Day Whales, how are we doing? The coins we're looking for today. The last 24 hours, the most traded coin by the whales, Elon. Yeah, so take a look at that. Most widely held token is Uniswap. And the biggest token position by dollar value is Shiba Inu. So all kinds of good stuff. So Dogelon Mars has just got a lot of good things going on right now. Also just got it listed on Swapspace.co, which is awesome stuff. We're going to jump over to that right now. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any up and coming videos. Right over here on the Twitter account, it said Elon is now listed on Swap Space Co. with over 600 pairs. So you can see right here, there's Elon. It's listed on Swap Space Co. Fantastic information, everybody. So right here at Swap Space Co., more cryptocurrency and exchanges, you can go ahead. It's now listed right here on Swap Space Co. You know how it works. You choose a pair, you select the best rate. You transfer your funds, and then obviously you receive your coins. So if you need some Dogelon Mars, you know where to go, everybody. All right, all right. So here we go. Thanksgiving Day, Black Friday. NFTs are now the talk of everything. On Thanksgiving, people from Martha Stewart to Macy's were well, all thinking about NFTs. Let's go ahead and head over to talk a little bit about NFTs. What's going on in the mainstream? So it says right here, NFTs hit the mainstream with this Thanksgiving as everyone from Martha Stewart to Macy's Auction holiday themes, digital collectibles. And you got Macy's, you know, right here, and you got all the floats. It says right here, as cryptocurrency craze continues, it appears non-fungible tokens may become as much of a part of American holidays tradition as pumpkin pie and football. NFTs are unique digital collectibles. So, yep, there you go. You got the float and floats just right there on the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Now, here's the inter interesting statistic. 86% of Americans have said they have heard of cryptocurrency and only about 16% have invested in one. So we have a lot of room to go for people to learn about cryptocurrency. You know, here's one of the things too. As cryptocurrency crazes continues, it appears that non-fungible tokens may be much more of a part of the American holiday tradition as pumpkin pie and football. NFTs are unique digital collectibles that run on a blockchain technology that operates similar to Bitcoin. Digital trying ownership to pieces of art, memes, videos, and even real estate since e NFTs are the first began really in popularly early this year. Digital assets have sold for upwards of millions of dollars, fueling the market that is now valued at around a whopping seven billion with a big B, everybody. So again, NFTs, the mainstream for Thanksgiving. So give us your thoughts here. I mean, so it says 86% of people have heard of cryptocurrency and only 16% of the people own the cryptocurrency. If you're a new person on the channel and you're just learning about it, thank you for t tuning in. That's why we do this channel to help everybody learn. If you're one of the 16% that own cryptocurrency like myself, that's fantastic too. That's why we also do this channel so we can know and understand what's going on. NFTs are here to stay. It may be a traditional um, thing like pumpkin pie. And football, thinking about Thanksgiving, like, hey, hey, everybody, let's eat some Thanksgiving turkey. Let's watch some football. Let's sleep on the couch. Oh, what NFT did you get this year from grandma? You know what I mean? It's going to be a tradition and stuff like that. Okay, okay, everybody, NFTs are here to stay. So with that, we know that the real estate market is just off the charts and people are paying all kinds of money for real estate. But what about virtual real estate? Virtual real estate on Decentraland is now selling for over $2 million. More cryptocurrency, blockchain, this and that going on. All right, let's go ahead and find out about real estate that is virtual real estate for $2 million. So right here, everybody, virtual real estate plot, Decentralized sells for a record $2.4 million in cryptocurrency. The virtual estate values 6090 square feet of land, the largest metaverse acquisition to date. 